Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back again to a brand new video. Do you want to access your Zoho Mail in Outlook? In this video, if you follow this simple tutorial to link your Zoho Mail account with Outlook, you'll have the easiest email management. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So, Connecting Zuhu with Outlook guys shouldn't be a big problem. It's very simple and very easy. First of all, you need to open Zuhu.com and then connect your account. This is the essential thing that you need to do. Once you've done that, you will have to go here to the settings. You open the settings and this window or pop-up will open for you, as you can see. Now here, as you would be able to notice, there is mail accounts. You simply have to click on it and after you open this, as you can see, you will have the account type. So you can go here, as you can see, and choose POP3. This will allow you to choose one of these four options. Outlook, Office 365, and Zuhu, and others. Pick Outlook. And simply here put the email address that you have in Outlook so for example I'm gonna use something like um, I don't know something like dot outlook.com so for example here I'm gonna do this dot outlook dot com and then you will have to click on this authenticate what will it do is basically, as you can see here, they will take you to Outlook to verify your account. So here, if I click, uh, we can find the accounts. Yeah, I should go. Yeah, I think it is this one. So this account I have is locked basically for the moment. Let me just retype it here. All right. And this is how it's supposed to go, I think. All right, next in here I should put my phone number. But normally when you do so, um, basically connect your account normally, you will provide permission for them to get the access and basically to use the permissions such as uh, viewing emails, uh, editing and sending. And then right after that, it will be added right over here as an email option. Also, once you're finished, you simply have to go and do not remove it from your default account. So just keep it as your side account and you might e be able to change it, for example. So you, you might be able, for example, to make the Outlook account in Zuhu is your main account. So when, what does it mean exactly is when you click here and you try to send a new email, it will be sent by your Outlook account or email, not by the Zuhu email. It could be something good. It might be bad, depending on what are the purposes of your you using this platform also guys there is some benefits or things that you need to take care of so if I went right here to the mail account you will find here some settings other than the outlook so here there is uh, a lot of things that might make difference so for example here check for new emails every minute so here I have 20 minutes um, I highly think that you need to put it at 3 so basically what does it mean is even if the emails are being sent to you in outlook if the period of three minutes didn't pass they will not be shown in the zuhu mail so having it reduced to the minimum which is as you can see here the minimum is three is going to be more beneficial so you can have updates as soon as possible of course this is bad since you will be delayed by three minutes you can also open outlook in meantime and view the email but yeah for those who are not really checking their mails um casually they simply have to check it like rare during the day like once or twice this option might be pretty good for you so you can basically have them all in one place like your outlook emails and your zoho mails all in one place also here make sure to put your maximum email to achieve everyone's uh, 200 emails this is basically for example if there was a hundred emails emails sent to you at once in your 
main mail in outlook uh this number will tell them to only for example send 20 mail from these hundred ones so you can literally just pick how many emails you would like to get from uh, outlook into here now this is something that's you should pick by yourself i will not really uh, influence your option it's completely up to you normally you wouldn't have this much this this much of emails at once i don't think so um i don't know about big companies if they do receive 20 like 200 emails every three minutes but yeah you never know so make sure to just put it at 200 for example which is the maximum amount so you can have the best performance i guess also here as you can see you will be able to view on the left here every single thing that is being going on in both your inboxes in outlook and in zuho this is very 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 useful guys and you need to take a look at it so you can view the inbox the drafts and this is uh, like having um like a plus one or step ahead which is templates you literally can have templates here which basically an already made uh, message that is basically you can write it right here and you can send it in outlook yeah you can use your email in outlook and send it and send like this message or this email template throughout your outlook outlook email without going to outlook so this is can be saved in both time and energy instead of like rewriting the email again and again and again you will have one template in zuhu that you can send it in outlook also there is this thing which is you can connect multiple mails not only outlook so in case for example and you can even connect multiple outlooks at once so let's say for example you do have an outlook email personal and you do have an outlook email which is for work you can connect them both here there is no problem at all so you could literally just keep clicking on this plus button plus 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 let's make sure that they are connected successfully and basically you will be able to actually view them all in here in one place um you can import export emails as you'd like and yeah much more than that and that was pretty much it for today's video guys if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel that was pretty much it for today's video so if you do have any more questions or problems that you have faced make sure also to mention them in the comment section we try our best to cover every single option or problem or issue that you have faced so make sure to mention it in the comments and yeah that was pretty much it thank you guys all for watching and see you guys in the next video